if you've gone to an AA meeting, you know who Burt Kreischer is, right? I would never take a date to that movie. I don't want her to think I'm fucking retarded. <laughs> I saw the uh, Burt Kreischer movie. What did you th- What did you think? What were your thoughts? All right, this is kind of a hot take, but I actually really liked Burt Kreischer's movie. Like, I, I genuinely enjoyed the whole entire really? movie. Really? What did you like about it? Here's the thing. I came in with really low expectations, right? Okay. Like, so the acting sucked, but I didn't expect Burt Kreischer to be acting well. Right. What I liked right. about it was the whole entire time it had my attention as like a, it was like such a stupid movie that it like, it kept my, yeah. it like kept like my like fucking like monkey brain like fucking like amused the whole entire time. You know what I mean? I was like, this is, I was like, this is not going to be a great piece of cinema, right? Like Martin mm-hmm. Scorsese is not going to go see this thing. But I was like, maybe I'll laugh. Maybe I'll have a good time. And I go in and they do the first scene where he's sitting in therapy with his family. And immediately I'm like, this is not going to be good. Like I just knew <laughs> from there. I was like, this is, this is going to be. A waste of my time. And the movie's like 90 minutes, I think. 12 minutes into it, I'm like looking at my watch. Like, when is this going to be over? And so maybe I didn't give it enough of a chance. And maybe it's a slow yeah. burn. But that's entirely possible. But I got, I walked out of it and I said, that's the worst movie I've ever seen at a theater. Okay. That's fair. Right? That's that's fair yeah. to say. Like, because you actually paid money right like what was like i don't know like 10 bucks for the ticket it would have been a really good like streaming netflix type of movie where yeah you know if you're really like high or drunk and watch with your buddies or whatever i think i looked it up after because i was curious i think they have not made their money back yet so like i think it was an eight million dollar budget and they're like just they're just under it they're at like seven five right now is what they've made on it so they'll probably make their money back on it which is good how the fuck do you get to eight million dollars filming the fucking machine? I'm pretty sure, like, Get Out was know. like a two million dollar movie. They probably had to pay Mark Hamill a decent amount of money to do it. Um, that's probably a good chunk of it. He's the guy. He played his dad. That's that's Luke Skywalker. That's the guy who played Luke Skywalker. Oh shit! Oh shit, <laughs> bro! What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah. What a dumb financial decision. That's not like. Like his acting was ass too. It wasn't like yeah. you could have got. Yeah, he was. I mean, there. it's hard to like. I mean, he was like, you, you can't expect him to make like gold out of shit, right? Like, it's like. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, you know I mean, he's, I mean, he's maybe sprinkled like, some. Pressure gold, makes like, diamonds. Yeah, yeah. yeah pressure, pressure makes diamonds, but just throwing a bunch of money at one actor doesn't make diamonds. <laughs> like that's not pressure. That's just dumb budgeting. I enjoyed the movie more than Bert's newest special. I'll say that. I actually haven't seen a special. I don't. I didn't know watch if the I'm whole thing. To. Yeah, don't. I couldn't yeah. watch the whole thing, so that's why I was like, okay. for what for Burt Kreischer comedy, right? Like mm-hmm. the fact that I was able to watch. I'm never gonna watch this movie again. But the fact that I was able to watch this whole entire thing and kind of have some level of focus in contrast to his special, I think it's a win for the movie. Yeah. Because his special is really hard for me to watch, bro. It's just okay. I don't know. The only reason I didn't walk out of the movie is because I was there. I was hosting friends for a trip, and I didn't want to like force them to walk out with me. I would never take a date to that movie. I don't want her to think I'm fucking retard. <laughs> Are you a Burt Kreischer um, fan? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a great. That's a great way to like get selected for, like any any woman like you would want to spend time with. That's a great way to not spend time with her. Is come out as a Burt Kreischer fan. That's how, um, I don't know if you know this, but in the military, when they recruit like the lowest level GPA kids, that's how they quickly weed them out. They just ask who here finds Burt Kreischer funny, right? And if anyone raises yeah. their hand, yeah, <laughs> well, it's normally something like the autistic, the autistic room just banging on right. the door, me, 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 right? But, you know, in the, in, if it's like everyone in the gym. I think it's not even autistic people who find it funny because like autistic people are very like intelligent at that, like a few things. Right. Mm -hmm. So I think they can kind of see what's going on and be like, this is for dumb people. I think it's just like for people from Florida and other fat white Americans and then like other alcoholics, you know what I mean? 
if you've gone to an AA meeting, you know who Burt Kreischer is, right? That's that's who I think his main target audience is. Um, yeah. I don't. I mean, because I don't like I. I don't. Have, there's comedy is subjective, and I'm not gonna not I know, go hard. I know. Some, I, I was gonna say I know some smart AA guys who are punching the air right now because you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> they're not happy you just said that. But continue. I'm, I'm sorry. It's like I may be a drunk, but don't call me a fucking Burt Kreischer. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Exactly. That's, yeah, that's what they're probably doing right now. But anyway.